Gumby Publishing, man. Stigmatism in my soul. No lies. Yeah. Yeah. You got that fair look, man. Yo, Sean, what's up, baby? What's up? Do so I forgot what it is, man. Yo, Columbus Park, Lower Manhattan, Chinatown, Little Italy, all that Mulberry Street, all that Mulberry Street right there, all that back in the day, the mafia, all that's down here. Yo, y'all know who it is. Y'all see what it is? Huh. Yo, yo, yo. Muscle memory fitness for the YouTube, M underscore M underscore fit for the gram. Fella, fella, ain't hard to find. I'm always outside linking up with G. Yo, man, what's up, man? Yo. What you finna do for us, man? Yo, you, you know I'm a show off, right? All right, all right, well, hey, I'm, I'm at home then. I'm at home. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm a show off, so we're gonna, do a, we're gonna do a back workout. Something to get you uh, a big back, get it ripped up. Check them out, y'all. Gotta say, gotta say, ripped and ready. Man, you gotta get that back. You see that back, man? It's that big V. Y'all see that, that V that. back there? Ah! Look at that V. Woo! I got the Ooh. recipe. Hey, okay, you posing, y'all. I got the recipe. Turn the tail. No, man, what's up? I got the recipe for you. All right, man, what's up? What you gonna do now, kid? All right, so the first back at workout that we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into a pull up with the scapular rotation. All right. Right? So check him out, y'all. Easy ten rep. Right easy ten rep. Check his grip out. Remember, we don't do this shit right here. When you pick something up, you pick it up with a full grip. Check so him out, y'all. He's not playing, man. He's grabbing the ball, man. A full grip. Throw your thumb right around. And all we're gonna do, one pull up. Okay. See that? That's a scapular rotation. Two. Three, four, five. Let's go get some traps right, y'all. Big fat. Look at that back, y'all. You see the veins and shit back there? Put them striations in them veins in that back, man. Seven. Gotta get that back right, man. Eight. Man, we see you. Nine. Last one, the best Woo. one. Ten. Now, <laughs> I'm so happy I could perform that move because um, I got injured a while back when I was doing bar transfers. I did not stretch appropriately. So please, before you get your workout in, stretch appropriately. If you don't want to be on bed rest. Well, I wasn't on bed rest. But if you don't want to take time off. Now, Matt, that back exercise you just hit, what, what, what back muscles does it hit? Yeah. It's hitting, your, it's hitting your scapula, it's hitting your lats. Latissimus dorsi. Big facts. And it's hitting your traps as well. And your trapezius muscles. Because it's like a shrug. Trapezius. When you're going up, but you're just rolling it back. Do that one more time, man. Check that back out, y'all. Right here. So I put, I put it in motion for you. I put it in motion. So, see that? And then pull up. Something light. Okay. Nothing crazy. We could give that to the beginners. If you know how to do a pull-up, or if you can't do a pull-up, grab a resistance band to assist you with your pull-up, and you can still perform the movement. Something like, right? I'm gonna take a sip of water right quick. Check them out, y'all. Chinatown, man, Columbus Park. Are we gonna be here? Yeah, go hop Go ahead, got my man here. Hop in. My man here, he got the goddamn khakis with the shirt. With the work shirt, he probably on his lunch break. But he getting to that money though. But he getting to that money though. He said it's mandatory. I love his part. He don't know he gonna be on the dopest channel on YouTube. Big facts. That's gonna be publishing right Yo, what's there. up, man? I'm just doing my work. Yeah. You gonna be on my YouTube <laughs> channel, man? It's a beautiful thing. All right, Matt, where we at now, baby? All right. So the next one that we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna say this is for the more advanced people who can do a muscle up. We're gonna keep that same scapular rotation, and then you're gonna go into a muscle up. 
It's gonna be tough. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. Hopefully I can pull it off for YouTube's best channel. <clears throat> Woo. Check him out, y'all. This is Matt, man. Muscle Memory Fitness, man. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. The link is underneath this video. <coughs> ah, that's one. Feeling it. Okay, but that's the that's the routine. But that's the routine for the more advanced. You're going to remember get that scapular rotation, go right into your muscle up. Okay, now for the more advanced, Matt. How easy many, kill. Were they getting like a ten piece on yeah, that? Yeah, you're getting ten reps. Okay, ten reps. But the fact that me and you already did ten sets of ten, then you just did ten. Yeah, ten it's, it's it's taxing. It's taxing. Right. But you know, I'm I'm happy I was able to, to get them perform two. Get them two. Hey, every rep counts. That's right. As long as you do what you got to do. Um. The next one that we're gonna go into, same few movements. The only thing that we're gonna incorporate is the L, uh, what do you call that again? The, yeah, the front lever, right? Again, haven't done this in ages. This is the first time I'm doing it ever since coming back from that little injury. So um, I'm gonna see if I can perform it, right? So you're going to go into a front lever. You're gonna come down. You're going to do the scapular rotation. And then you're gonna go into your muscle up. Right? So let's see what I got. Here we go, y'all. If I got anything, check them out. Okay. I got it. Okay. Woo! Ah! That's one. That's two. God is good. <laughs> All the time. That's what's up. That's All what's the up. time. Because that's the first time that I'm performing that shit in weeks. And the simple fact that I came out here with no intention of doing it. G put me on the spot. I was capable of doing it just for, to perform it for you guys. That's a blessing right there, boy. I'll take it. Hey, Matt, man. We appreciate you, man. I'll and, take uh, it. Thanks for coming out and meeting me today. Uh, how old are you, man? I'm 30. 30? Aquarius. Yeah, I'm out there. Man, what nationality are you? Where, where you from? I'm from here. I was born here, but my nationality is Grenadian. Yo, shout out to Grenada, man. My spice people. Real jab jab. 473, baby. Now, now Representing. Now, now you, so you grew up in Brooklyn? I grew up in Brooklyn. Where? What part of Brooklyn? Flatbush, baby. Yo, shout out to the bush. Flatbush. Special lad, the bush. <laughs> Not hard to find. Hey, 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 Matt, so... Where you went to high school at? I went to high school at uh, James Madison High School. Wow. Way back when. In high Brooklyn? school. In Brooklyn. You played any sports? Yeah, I, I ran track, played football for a little bit, um, did some boxing. I grew up playing sports all my life, you know? So. You've been athletic your whole life? My entire life. All right, now what about on the weightlifting shit? Oh, weightlifting. I actually started weightlifting in uh, uh, probably like around high school. Around the time that I was starting high school, um, I was introduced to my first weight training class. And um, that's where it actually started for me. Um, then my uncle got some, had some weights in his garage. I started, uh, I had no idea what I was doing with them. I started yeah, playing, <laughs> I started playing, yo, my inspiration was Dragon Ball Z. So I was like, I was like Goku in the hyperbolic time chamber. I, I used to go in the garage, find weights, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, but I was doing something. And um, later on down the line, I started reading, studying. I became fascinated with how the characters looked, and I wanted to look just like that. So I, I ran with it. I now, ran with now, it. Now, Matt, um, how tall are you? I'm 5'9". How much you weigh? At this point, I'm probably... Uh, I've been fluctuating between 180 and 185. I'm going to call myself 180. Okay. I'm going to call myself 180. Is that where you like to be? It's comfortable. It's comfortable. I, the heaviest that I've ever been was 195. I performed well at that weight, but I performed even better at 180. I could breathe efficiently. I could finish my workouts efficiently. You know, it's a, it's about the um, it's wait, about the form. Yeah, you right. know, so it's a good feeling. It feels real good. It feels real good. Man, how many days a week you work out? Shit, 
It used to be bad. It used to work out seven days a week. But now I work out probably like about five days a week. I use the weekends to rest up. The body needs rest. But I would tackle every muscle group two times a week. So it would kind of lead into my weekend. So now my split is different. So I have a little bit more free time to do other things, you, you know? Do, you do two a days and shit like that? Now I do two a days. Uh, due to this whole pandemic, I have a little bit more time on my hands to uh, reach for certain goals. So I figured, you know what? Let me get right back to it. Hit two a days and see how I feel overall. It's been a long time. Man, it's been a long time. steroids, creatine? Man, we ain't about that life. I can't front though. I have used um, creatine before, but I don't use anything that my body does not produce. You know, I um, also use BCAA. Shout out to to my uh, my blue powder in that in that uh, in that water bottle. Um, BCAA's are for um, it's it's the building blocks of protein for energy, focus, recovery. You know, just keep you on your toes. Allows you to finish your workout after your muscles are broken down. It repairs them. You know, so it's it's good to have. It's good to have. Man, what about sleep? Sleep, sleep is mandatory. I'm gonna repeat, sleep is mandatory. You need a good amount of sleep in order to focus throughout the day and just perform your workout efficiently. And your body, your muscles to heal, to yeah. repair. Big facts. That recovery time is no joke, especially if you're working out like we working out, you know? On, on that hybrid shit, when you lifting weights and you doing calisthenics and you pushing two a days, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Now, man, we'll talk about the food. Huh. The food you fuck with. Yo. So I come from a West Indian background. So you know I'm already eating a lot of rice and peas, jerk chicken, um, kalalu, oxtail, all of that stuff. But at the same time, I like to say everything in, everything in moderation. So for example, in the morning, I would start my day off with, um, with two cups of oats, some fruits. Um, that would be like my first meal. Then I'd go into my second meal. Still breakfast, still breakfast. Um, maybe some egg waffles with eggs and uh, um and some and some orange juice right and then after those two meals then i dive into my rice and peas and more heavier meals throughout the day but um my eating is really and truly based off of what i have in store for the day you know so it's based on my lifestyle some days i have five meals other days I have three meals but it, it's spaced out where I can get all of the appropriate nutrients to fulfill my nutritional values Matt you see the physique and the physique is money and we ain't on that other tip mm hmm what about talk to us about the mental and spiritual Whew. physique that comes with working out along Whew. with the physical physique yo that's that's a deep one right there you know um I've said this before, there's nothing in this world better than a peace of mind. There's nothing in this world better than a, than a peace of mind. And because I, uh, I was always one of those individuals who kind of blows with the wind, for me it was just like, oh, I'll do that later. I'll get to that when I get to that. You know, but bodybuilding has given me the discipline and the mindset to tackle my priorities and, uh, um, yeah, it's given, it's given me the dis discipline to tackle my priorities, you know? So from from that perspective, it, it, it's, it's kept me aligned with all of my goals. It's kept me aligned spiritually because my mindset is different. If you've ever been on a, a, on a competitor's diet, your true colors begin to show. You know, just dealing with people on an everyday basis, all of the different personalities can get uh, very taxing and time consuming so much so that you just want to sit by yourself and not have to deal with people because it can become so stressful but being able to be spiritually inclined and have that discipline which goes hand in hand has allowed me to endure that uh that that mental stress and just take it on you know so it, it's very important to be to be well-rounded have having discipline and being spiritually inclined Respect your peace of mind. You know, if if something is not for you, leave it alone now because man, it's gonna ruffle your feathers. Talk about that bodybuilding piece. You you fuck with the bodybuilding. You was a. Yeah. You wanna get over here, bro? All right, all right. Yeah. You welcome. You welcome. What so, about so what? So you was a bodybuilding shit. Yes. You still that or you was that? 
I, I, I'll still claim the whole bodybuilding thing for the simple fact that I continue to lift weights. What was that shit like? Yo, it was it was a beautiful experience. Um, it's a selfish sport, I must say that. Because when it comes to sharing food, I'm not trying to share my food with anybody. I've weighed my food, I've counted my, my macros, and that's for me. You can't have any, <laughs> you, you know? And being that it's a, a, a selfish sport, you're, you're more thinking about, you know, what you have to do for self 24-7 when, uh, when competing, <laughs> you know? So um, again, it's given me the discipline that I needed to stay on the right track. When it was time for me to hit that stage, I was always focused on beating the last the last performance that I did. I was never uh, worried about any of the competitors. Who's on the stage? Just you. Was, just, just, just me. It's about me. You, you know, self love, baby. <laughs> Matt, is Matt's life already written by Supreme Being, Higher Power, or does Matt get to choose his destiny with his choices and his decisions? Oh, I love it. Um, I get to choose my decisions every day. I mean. You can say that it's written, but we all have the opportunity to make certain choices and what road we wanna, what path we wanna walk down, you know? So at the end of the day, we can say it's already etched out in the stars, but the path that you choose is forever up to you. It'll forever be up to you. My man, my man. It will forever be up to you. My man. Yo, Mac, you got Instagram, social media, anything you want to give to the people, man? Yo, M underscore, M underscore fit for the gram, muscle memory fitness for the YouTube. The fella fella is always outside, and I'm not hard to find. Hey, yo, man, both those links going to be underneath this video. Woo! Glad I got this brother on my channel. Yo, Matt, do me a favor, man. Tell the people, say, yo, fuck with Sean's YouTube channel, man. He got the yo. dopest channel on YouTube, man. You know the vibes. Fuck with Sean's YouTube, dopest channel on YouTube. Gonna be publishing. We getting to the money, baby. Man, appreciate you, kid. Ha! Peace.